Hey, this is Supreet. So today we're going to see how to create a new line item or create new records into our Cosmos TV. So in our previous video, we saw how to fetch the records from our Cosmos TV and present it on the screen. So today in this video, again, we're going to you now switch back to Visual Studio, have this Cosmos TV integrated with the .NET application. And uh, you now we're going to show you how to create a new line item or new records. So I'm going to quickly flip back to Visual Studio and look at this i have a method called you know create and this is gonna take the parameter a class object of type products so this is gonna again return the view so uh, as i said i have to have three essential parameters one is database one is url and the other thing is key so i'm just gonna uh, take this and paste it over here so where do i find my you know key elements url and the key so i'm gonna flip back to the home page azure home page and click on my resource if you look at this this is my url so i'm just gonna quickly paste it over here and key where do i find my key just you know, uh, find the line item called keys in the left navigation menu this is the one i'm going to quickly copy this and paste it over here now the next step is to create your database and your container before that we have to create client cosmos client and this is going to you know help us establish a connection to cosmos db so i'm just going to copy this element this lines of code so this is the line item that's going to help you create your cosmos client which in turn helps you establish a connection to cosmos db and create database if not exist this is the method which is going to help you create your database object and create containers if not exist i think this is the method which is going to help you create your containers right so now the next step is to you know create uh, the uh, new line item all right so what we're going to do is we're going to make use of this container i'm going to say var response await containers dot let's see if i have this yes we have something called create item async t i'm gonna replace it by products So create item async is the method which is going to help you create your new line item. So let's see what does it take. It does take product item. In the sense, it does take you know a class object of type products. So I'm gonna pass in this argument. That's it. I guess this would be sufficient enough to create the enough item. Let's run this and see if this is going to work. So this is the home page and we're going to quickly navigate to specific page. All right, so now we're gonna input all the essential items. Seven is my ID name. What product would we create? We would create new, new, what would be the new line item? I'm gonna save uh, smartphones. Uh, 
and the cost would be let's say 15,000 quantity I'm gonna say 10 so once I say create this should you know create a new line item in the database all right so I guess the new line item is created I do lay a I should have you know displayed a new message called created successfully but nevertheless we're gonna verify this let's log into data explorer and verify this this is my data explorer this is my you know database and then this is my collection inside this I have items if you see the seventh line item should be created yes this is the seventh line item let's see what's inside this so the seventh line item the newly created one this is pretty evident that you know the integration is been successfully established and integration works successfully so don't worry about this all these elements these are auto generated stuff so what we're gonna concentrate on is these four key value pairs so this is it for this demo i hope uh, this was pretty easy for you and we're gonna you know, come back with more videos on more stuff thank you